Hello everyone, my name is Bob Mitch and welcome back to some more Star Citizen. I have an NPC standing on my head and it kind of equates my mood at the moment really. So you all know and if you've been watching that I recently had delivery of the 3060Ti. I have had to send it back. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm back on the 1070 although the performance is still pretty good on the 1070 as you can see. Basically the 3060 Ti I had sent to me was a dual fan and the right hand fan was broken. Fan controller was broken, I couldn't adjust the speeds and it just spooled up to 100% and stuck there really annoyingly. So the card worked as you saw in the videos I had, but yeah the fan was busted and I've had to send it back. So hopefully I'll get sent a replacement. That isn't going to stop me playing the game though or making some content if I can help it. And I'm recording this today because Morphologist released a video earlier, in fact I've watched it about 45 minutes ago, if you don't know Morphologist you should go check him out because his videos are fantastic, about going to find the wrecks on various moons and systems around Stanton. The reason you should be doing this is because they contain subscriber items, or at least some of the boxes in them do, the rest of them just contain some cool items. The trouble is finding them, thankfully. Morphologist and the Armco team on his Discord have provided some handy coordinates and we're going to go and find some of them. So, I'm going to fly back to Microtech. I'm going to go and get my extreme armour suits. And by that I don't mean heavy armour suits, I mean the environmental suits, so the Novikov and the Pembroke suits I have. And we're going to go and look for some wrecks. Let's go and have some fun. So we're here at Nordgard, I think that's how you pronounce it in Aberdeen at Hurston. I'm just going to level out and just check the map. And we want to go heading 118 for about 23 kilometers. So we just spin around this way a little bit. Spin around this way a lot. 118 is roughly there, just about nice and level, make sure we're not going to skew off that heading. And all we do is accelerate forward in this direction and we look for our wreck. So being on Aberdeen, I am in my, probably can't see it very well in the cockpit there, but I'm in the Pembroke suit. So I'm in my Michelin Man slash Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man slash Iron Man armour. So we don't burn to a crisp whilst we fly through uh, this very 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 hot and toxic atmosphere. This is where the prison is after all. This place is not very hospitable uh, to uh, anyone coming here. There it is. This one took a few passes to find. We got there in the end. This one's quite hard to spot. Blimey. Okie dokie. Let's go down and have a look. That'll do nicely. Good stuff. So we're going to open both the sides. In case we need to throw boxes in. So when you're doing this, you need to be prepped, as I said. So here on I'm on Aberdeen, where it's incredibly hot, I'm in the Pembroke suit. I've got my multi-tool, I've got a pistol to fire some shots, and I've got some med supplies. Um, I would say you could bring some food and drink as well, but there's food and drink boxes in these things. So it's not that hard to sort of find sustenance here. This is looking a bit edgy. I'm going to lower the back door as well because that looks quite hard to get back in. That's a bit easier. Good stuff. Please don't have a fit cutlass. It's sort of balanced precariously. Okay, where shall we start? So a balmy 170, still climbing. 80, 90. 200, 220, 222 degrees. So yeah, you could not do this in a normal suit of armor. <laughs> you would cook. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay, let's go right to left. You have to be careful of the ruins around these things. Um, there's lots of trip hazards, so you could get stuck and the fire will burn you. So you do have to be careful. 
So this is the front end of the ship, I want to say. It's hard to tell. Yeah, there's the drive section at the back. Okay, so this is the front. There's a piece on its side up there. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, 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 sliding down the hill. No, we want to go up the hill. There we go. Is that there? Just wreck. Okay. I'm going to slow my character's movement speed down a little. Nothing of massive import there yet. Do, do, do. Nothing yet? No? Okay. Sideways boxes. It doesn't look like there's anything to open or any gantries to uh, climb up on. Unless I can get up there. Can I get higher? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, so this one's not really got anything in it. I'll try this next section. Frame rate is a bit terrible. I can only apologise again because I'm back on my 1060. 1060? 1070. Whilst I wait for my replacement 3060 to turn up. <laughs> I'm not having a lot of luck just lately. Uh, bad things tend to come in threes, they say, and I have had three bad things happen. The graphics card being one of them. So hopefully my bad spell is over now. Aha! Aha! That's what we're looking for. So on Morph's video, he uh, pointed out that you need to look for these red boxes. And these have got the subscriber items in, apparently. So that's got our tractor beam on. Good. Those are covered. That one's not. Okay, so... There we go. It won't go any further. Oh, there's a box there. Okay, I see. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Oh. There we go. Come, come here. I want things. Look at that. Piece of cake. Okay, you off. You holstered, what have we got? Ooh, oh, we've got a new undersuit. So the uh, uh, Lamont Arios tend to be the one I wear all the time because it's for my um, Atlazan ar 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 armor. I can't really pronounce it. Overlord arms, so pretty much everything in here. These are all subscriber flare items. I recognize the heavy backpack. Overlord, I think, is the one that kind of looks like a USA heavy armor isn't it and one of the steel helmets as well and some ammo for the arrowhead okay we'll put this in the cutlass another thing that's important to remember is oh me marker for me cutlass has disappeared there she is there it is so you cannot drop these boxes on the floor according to morph's video um, they have a habit of just sinking through the planet, so you have to carry them all the way to your ship. You can't pick them up by hand, which is why it's so important to bring a tractor tool uh, to carry these things over. This is why we brought the cutlass, because then it's easy to get things inside. I did try and find one of these earlier on in the Mercury Star Runner. And although I found the wreck, it was really, really dark. So I didn't want to do a video on it because I didn't want it to be ruined by me not being able to get back into the ship. As you can see, these ships tend to be in valleys and gullies and the Mercury was just far too big to fit into this gap. So there we go. Okay, so that was one. Was that the only one? Was it this section we were in? No, it was, we're not even up to this section yet, was it? It was this one. How can we get in here? Can't get up there. Ah, there's a hole in the side. Ooh, hello, trip mines. 
I've not dealt with trip mines yet. So that's them on the wall there. Must be. Yes. Yes. Um, one of Morph's techniques was to drag a box through the laser beam, but I think we just can shoot them. So, we'll stand back a bit. Ah, that works. Awesome. I've only got five bullets, because <laughs> I had to do a character reset earlier on, so I've got no ammunition for any of my guns. So hopefully there's not too many of these things kicking around. Oh! This is a food box, I believe. Holy! Okay. Some pink flares. Red flare. I'm not bothered about pink. Let's take the red one. Some food and drink. Revenant pods. Okay, they turn these into ultratoxin. Okay, well we're going to take these just for giggles. Maybe we can make drugs out of them at some point. Is that ration packs? MREs? <laughs> okay, and some water. Uh, cruise is definitely what we want because cruise gives you both hydration and food back. Okay. So that's a food box. I'm not going to take that one with us. We can leave that one there. I would imagine that we can sell some other stuff that comes in those. But the last time I tried to sell things like uh, consumables that you find on a planet, they don't sell for a lot of money. So it's not really worth the effort. Awesome. Okay. Jumping puzzles galore here. Where's the actual mine? There it is. Just like that. Oh, and another box of food. Wow, this one's not got a lot in it. Yellow and pink. Don't want pink. Not really fussed about yellow. Oh, hello. <laughs> Another one. Okay. More glow sticks. More pink. I don't want pink. We'll have the red one. And some more cruise. And some fruit. Spiral fruit. Heart of the woods. Okay. So these are the... Um, these are the rare thing from Microtech. I'm going to pinch these because I do enjoy these things. So to find these before, you had to sort of fly around Microtech and they grow in like tree stumps. They're really hard to find. So having some of them for something, maybe of some use, someday. How do we get back out? Okay, we can just vault. All right. Anything else around here? Okay, next section. This is awesome. This is really good fun. And the fact that we found some really cool subscriber items. That's where we couldn't get before. Ooh, yellow box. And more waste, is this? Yeah, don't want that. What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wildwood is from the Artemis set, which is a pledge store set. Canuto. So, same again. And a lot of Inquisitor armor. You were of pistols. Canuto helmet as well. Okay. Um. Oh. oh, 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 it's getting a bit warm in here. It's getting very warm in here. Okay, um, we'll take this with us. Wow, I don't think I've been on Aberdeen long enough like this where it's dangerous for the suit. That's definitely a first. There's the red one from before. So yellow, red and blue, these are the three boxes. So, from what I can see, this must be store items, so pledge store, and this must be sub-items. It's simple enough. Let's go grab that 
uh, box that I'm guessing is diamonds. Can we stay out here? Ugh, no. That's not good, having a survival estimate. There we go, now that's in the cutlass as well. It must literally be midday. Yeah, it is. <laughs> So that's why we're burning. Okay, I think I found everything we're going to find in that one as well. We've only got one more section to check, which is the drive section back here. So hopefully we can do that in the however many sort of five, six minutes we've got that this is tweaking out on. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Well, that was awesome. That was awesome. This is great. <laughs> This just free stuff everywhere. All you got to do is go hunting for it and some little jumping puzzles and some mines to deal with. It's not too much to ask, is it? Okay, so we're in something a bit smaller this time. We're going to be at heading 337 for 22 kilometers when we get over this one in Lyria. So we are on Lyria, by the way. I've changed suits so that I'm in the Novikov armor now. So for cold environments instead. Ooh, a bit too far. There it is. I've just almost flown past it then. Another trashed caterpillar. Daytime this time for a change. Welcome to Lyria. Only minus eight, so not as harsh as I thought it might be. But still, let's go and find some loot. That's the drive section back there, so we'll start at the front and work backwards. This is the Novikov armor, so this is the, the Citizen Con variant from a few years ago. I think the, uh, the non Citizen Con variant doesn't have the purple tinge to it. And I've had to pinch the backpack from one of my um, Pembroke suits because the uh, Novikov armor one is missing. I don't know if that's just a bug or whatever. I'm going to um, do a character reset after I've looted this one anyway and uh, try and find out where my other backpacks have gone. <laughs> okay, that's very obviously pointing us up this way. Still nothing hidden in here yet though. Oh, there it is. Hello, sub box. And in box number one, we have quite a lot of shinies in this one. Got a grenade launcher, sniper rifle, helmet pistol. Two pistols in fact and some armor. We'll have the grenade launcher because they're quite hard to get hold of. I'm going to dump this back in my uh, Avenger. I am... oh no, never mind. Oh no, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to activate the flare. We don't want this thing in my hand anymore. There we go. So we just wanted to activate the uh, CN flare on us so we've got some light in here. Okay, this is what I wanted to see. So these doors, you have to play with them. So as you move your cursor and sort of spam it a little bit. find the sweet spot and you can get them to open. How cool is that? Just another part of the puzzle. There we go. Oh, food. Wow, this one's full. Nothing of any real use to us now though. More flares. Why are they always pink? I, pr I like the seen ones, but that's because seen is my favourite colour. I'm biased. <laughs> no trip wires yet. 
another panel we can use. See if there's anything hidden in this one. Nope. You can see this door's closed. I'm guessing it's going to open it. We just got to find that little sweet spot. There it is. So that closed that one. So make sure you don't have a friend in there. <laughs> Here it is, I've just started again. Gone into scanning mode by accident. 271 for 19 kilometers from SAL2. Here we are. Got these guys on the morphologist Discord that did this work. You guys are saints. <laughs> okay, let's uh, land somewhere that isn't going to be really hard to get boxes to, should I need to. This little nook here looks okay. Oh, there's a yellow box, finally. In here we have, wow, this thing is rammed. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, a wildwood rifle as well. I'm definitely taking this one back. This is packed. This is probably one of the best ones I've found so far. Tons and tons of scopes, food. Salvo pistol, not one of the shiny new salvo, pit salvo pistols, unfortunately. Night Stalker. This one's nice. Nice. Morning Star helmet. Arden legs. Normal Artimex helmet. The fact it's got this rifle in it, though, makes it well worth it. And it's got a grenade launcher in it as well, which you can't buy anymore. So, well, well, well worth finding these ones. These ones seem even more rarer than the red ones, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> now I've got them both in. I am staggered at the amount of stuff in those two boxes. Absolutely staggered. So that's one sub box, two of those what are seemingly like ultra rare yellow boxes that seem to have store items in and one foo box and that was just from these two sections here. We've still got this lot to do. So we've been around two points on Lyria. I just want to make this clear regardless of where I put this in the video that I'm doing. <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, this is going to be a nightmare to edit later. Uh, but I've just done the two crashed sites on Lyria and look at all this stuff I've got. It's incredible. These are mainly out of the two yellow boxes and the one red sub box. But this is all just thrown into the local inventory at Bajini Point. So I'm above Arc Corp now and I've just gone to the station to refuel my little Avenger. But three of these helmets. The Wildwood and Lodestone, these are pledge store items. So unless you pay real money for these, that's where you'll find these. We've got Citadel Arms, so heavy armor arms. We found another multi tool, some flares, food that I just took out for memes. Loads and loads of scopes. So if I, if I just click sort, that might be a bit easier. So there we go, some various arms from Inquisitor stuff. Six helmets, so Morning Star ones mainly, one Artimex one. Um, it isn't part of any of the coloured sets. Some heavy armour helmets, uh, Arden legs, Inquisitor cores, like I said, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of scopes, some flares, two grenade launchers, three Uberev pistols, a salvo frag pistol, three arrowhead sniper rifles, and one AO3 Gemini rifle, the Wildwood one, which again is a pledge store item. That's insane! <laughs> this is fantastic. I'm loving doing this. Hello, what was that? Ah, this looks like it, but it looks like there's already another player here. <laughs> if that's the case, we will leave him to it. I am going to show that I am a good player, yet yeah, somebody in a cutlass bank has already found it nestled in the mountains. <laughs> Not said anything in chat. We we'll spy on them a moment and see if we can see them sprinting around from ship to ship. Never mind, someone beat us to this one. That happens. If that's the case, there really isn't much point waiting around until he's gone because he'll already have taken everything. Nevertheless, that there is some Rex Spelunking. How cool is that? Fantastic of Morphologist to highlight that for everybody, myself included, because I've, I've been doing this most of the day. 
in order to um, make this video. So I've, I've had lots of trials and tribulations, lots of server crashes, 317. The stability of the servers has been a bit up and down as I've been doing this, so it's a bit hit and miss. But this has been fantastic fun. I've had to do a character reset as well, because um, I keep losing backpacks, especially the ones for my Pembroke stuff, which is annoying. So half of the stuff I found I haven't been able to keep because it's either gone down to a server crash or um, through a character reset, which I think I did it a bit too early. Never mind. This has been fantastic. I hope this has been a bit helpful if you do come and try to do this yourself. You definitely, definitely should because it's great fun and it's a good way to explore. I will leave a link to more video about this in the description so that you can go and find your way and find some of these yourself. Just remember to prepare and bring some potential food if you're going to be looking around a while. And a small ship. Bring a small ship. <laughs> Don't bring a big one because you won't be able to fit it around the wrecks. As you just saw, that one was in a mountain range. And I think even he had problems getting that Cutlass Black in there. So that's why I'm in the Pisces. So thank you very, very much for watching in this gorgeous, uh, lovely moonrise around Yella. I will see you all next time.